uh, this page to talk about how we interpret this. And so, uh, first of all, on the fastballs, the one thing we look for are fastballs to be consistent. So in this case, we see fastballs that are plotting a pretty wide range. And so we would want to see uh, fastballs generally be pretty close to the center. So this might mean that the hand position is a little bit different on each fastball. It also might mean that uh, maybe the pitcher is throwing a two seam that's moving a little bit differently than the four seam, which would be useful. Uh, but each fastball, if we start from the center, is telling us if we plot down uh, and across how it's moving. So uh, just a, a normal fastball plots about where this is. This is about uh, 14 inches uh, vertical. I'll write that in there and then 14 inches um, horizontal. And that's about average for what we see uh, for high school pitchers. And so if we want to uh, work above average, and so if a pitcher has a fastball spin rate that's high, or we have a lot of backspin, then that fastball, maybe it plots up here at a 20 inch vertical break. And what that means is from the hitter's point of view, the ball is falling slower than what he would expect it to on an average fastball. So because it's falling slower, the human eye interprets that ball as rising. So hitters will tell you the fastballs that tend to rise and are up in the zone and especially are thrown hard are, are hard to hit. And you're seeing in the big leagues more pitchers throwing up in the zone and throwing those high spinning four seam back spinning fastballs. So that's what that would mean if we're working on the top of that zone. Uh, let's change colors here. If we have a fastball that's maybe over in this area where the green is, that fastball has a vertical break of 10. So compared to a four seam fastball that is break that is rising at 20 inches, this fastball would be 10 inches off of that. So this would show a lot of sink. And because I plotted it more toward the right, uh, this would have an extreme amount of horizontal movement. So this would have runs. So I, I would expect that this pitch would be characteristic of a two seam fastball that has sink and then run toward the arm side. So just interpreting this chart helps you interpret uh, what each fastball is doing. And so in this one chart, in this one pitch, you can gather a lot of data uh, about your fastball. Um, if we move over to the curveball, um, kind of the same thing. We want to see the curveballs plot together. This is a pretty wide range. So the, I would suspect that the wrist position or the spin axis is changing and varying on each pitch, which is pretty common for younger pitchers who haven't really developed the consistency of that curveball. Sometimes they throw a curveball, sometimes they throw a pitch that's spinning more like a slider, and then you can see a wide range of movement here. But what we like to see is the breaking pitch plot far away from that fastball, kind of if you draw a horizontal line, this is where you'd expect to see a, a good breaking pitch because it, this is moving down and away for this is a right-handed pitcher throwing. So this would be moving down and away from the right-handed hitter. And so this would be a pretty good curveball. If we had a curveball and let me plot an example here, uh, that was where my green circle is now that pitch would appear pretty flat. If we were watching that, it doesn't, wouldn't really have a whole lot of break. And so rap soda would help uh, besides what we saw, we would see the data that would help, encourage that pitcher to uh, make a change to induce more horizontal and more vertical, vertical break in that curveball. And so uh, hopefully this chart alone uh, can help you interpret a little bit more about what your pitchers are doing. And so uh, this is a big field. It's a new field. And so if you are at all interested in learning more about Rapsodo, um, I would definitely encourage you to see a coach uh, that could help you interpret your arsenal. And really what we're trying to do is help pitchers uh, create the best arsenal uh, for them. Everybody's a little bit different, uh, but this technology helps us uh, determine, for example, should a pitcher throw more two seams or more four seams, or should a pitcher throw more curveballs or more sliders, or sometimes even am I throwing a curveball or is it more of a slider based on spin? So uh, this opens up a whole new world of interpretation, and uh, it's a very exciting field.